Hi everyone. In this video, we will talk about how to use Ardas to display the digital imagery. Before the lab, please go to the Blackboard and download the data. First, open the software and open the TM data image as a single band grayscale image. In the last video, we have talked about how to open an image as a grayscale display mode. So just go to the file, open, raster layer, and go to the folder with the image. Highlight the image and go to the raster options. And in the display as, choose grayscale and change the layer as layer one. Before click OK, please answer the first question. Under layers, how many bands are available? As mentioned before, Erdas performs an automatic contrast stretch. However, let's take a look at what happens when we do not perform a contrast stretch. So under raster options, click fit to frame and click no stretch. And now click OK. So you should be displaying only band one. So please go to the question two. Suppose we have chosen the true color display option and assigned band one to all three color guns. Apply fit to frame and no stretch. What color would the image be displayed as? So look at this displayed image. This data haven't been contrast stretched. They are raw data. So Please answer the question three. Are all the land cover tabs clearly distinct from the other? And question four, which three band uh, land cover tabs have a higher spectral reflectance? Now go to the panchromatic and display band two to seven distinctly and ex examine the lightness change for ground objects. For example, this is band 2, and band 3, and band 4. Now, redisplay this image. And assign the band 1 as all color guns. And click fit to frame. And this time, please do not click no stretch. And now click OK. So how does this image differ in appearance from the non-stretched image? In the stretched image, please use the multi-spectral tab and change the color to band 2 to band 7 and examine the difference of different band color. For example, let's change all the color to band 2 and repeat this step to the rest layers and answer the sixth question. Which band is the thermal band and how can you tell? Remember, the bands 1 to 7 of this image match Landsat TM bands 1 to 7. Next, you are going to display a color infrared false color composite a digital image which has a color infrared photograph. So next, let's redisplay this image with true color. And this time, let's use the other 432 as a layer order and click no stretch fit to frame. Click OK. And here we go. This is a non-stretched image. We can also do this manually. So just right-click this image in the content wheel. And choose the brightness and contrast. And here, the window of contrast tool for this image pop up. If you want to know more options, please click Help. At this moment, 
Please remember to allow blocked content. And here we go. We have some help information here. And close this window. Please answer the question 8. Top slide bar refers to what? And the bottom slide bar refers to what? If we change the brightness to 60 and the contrast to 75, click Apply. How does this change the image? You can also play around the contrast tool a little bit. Alter the slide bar value and the contrast bar value. So when you want to go back to the original image, just hit Reset. And here we go. Please make sure you do not hit Save on the Contrast Tool menu, because this will permanently change the file. So after the exploration, just click Close. In part two, let's open the pencil color image and change the layer order. to five, five, uh, 543 as a new order of layers and click fit to frame. Click OK. And let's redisplay this image as another layer order. 432, that's our new layer order and click fit to frame. Click OK. As we all know that for this data set, 543 is a color infrared composite. Well, 432 is the natural color image. So if we want to compare the color difference of these two images, just go to the content view. And on the 2D view, number one, right click and change the swap. And on the top, just left click and hold the cursor and move right and left, and examine the color difference of these two images. Please answer the question 10. What color is the vegetation in these two images? So what color are urban and transportation areas in both? And why? And what color is water? Now, let's close the transition and go to the Home tab and click Metadata. And here you will have more information about this image. You can just dismiss this arrow. Please go to the question 11. Look at the histogram uh, window for band 3 and band 5. This is the histogram of band 3 and band 5. So what does their shape and the mean brightness values tell you about the landscape covered by the image? In other words, you need to describe the pixel frequency distribution and the mean BN values. So how many peaks can you differentiate from the histogram? In the last video, I have talked about how to know the pixel values through inquire cursor. Just go to the top and go to the Home tab, click Inquire, and here you will see a white cross. Left click and hold the cross and move around. Stop at the bottom pixel you want to view the value. And at the bottom, you will see the pixel value in seven bands. Next, let's introduce another way to view the pixel value. First, let's close the Inquire window and go to the Multispectral tab and click Spectral Profile. And here you have a Spectral Profile window pop-up. And at the, at the top, click the black cross and zoom in to the pixel you want to know the value. For example, for this pixel, I just left click. And here, I just give the point for this pixel. And reopen this 
spectral profile window, and you will see the line chart of the pixel value in seven bands. If you want to know the specific value of each pixel of the pixel in each band, just go to the top and click View, click Tabular Data, and here in the profile one, and you will see the pixel value for each band. For example, for band one, the pixel value is 40, and for band seven, the pixel value is 40 also. And now click Close. For the question 12, please find the first pixel in the upper left corner of the matrix. In other words, this is the pixel, the most northwest corner of your image, which has a value greater than zero. And please answer the question and fill the table. Based on the 12th question, Please answer the next question. Which band has the brightest value in this pixel? And what does this say about the landscape, which is represented by the pixel? And using the spectral profile, you can create a plot with profiles for water, urban and vegetation, soil and road, roadland cover classes. Now, you can go to the uh, edit and click the chart options. In this chart options, you can change the x axis and the y axis, the range of these two axes, and just click apply. Now go back to edit and click chart legend. Here, in the under the name, you can just double click and change the name of the profile. For example, I just changed it as the soil and click apply and click close. And here, this pixel is referred to as soil. But because I have only one point in this image, so there is no legend. Let's add another point. For example, okay, this is a wire. And now you can see the first pixel is for the soil, and the second is the profile too. And I just go to the edit and click chart legend double click the name and change this as a wire and click apply and click close here we go now we have the proper legend this time at last please answer the last question describe the spectral signatures for each of the land cover classes and examine the differences between them. That's all about today's lab. I know this lab is a little longer than you expected, but it really teaches you how to 